McDonald's USA is committing $5 million and working with Ag Mission to decrease greenhouse gas, GHG emissions in agriculture and development and implement climate smart agricultural solutions over the next five years. So what exactly is Ag Mission? According to the press release, Ag Mission was created by the Foundation for Food and Agriculture Research, FFAR, the United States Farmers and Ranchers Alliance, USFRA, and the World Farmers Organization, WF. FO, to harness agriculture's potential to cut GHG emissions. What is their objective? To make the agricultural sector net negative for GHG emissions by bringing farmers, ranchers, and scientists together to co-create science-based solutions that can be quickly adopted, enhancing on-farm resilience while minimizing the effects of climate change. What are GHGs? A greenhouse gas, GHG, is any gas that absorbs or emits radiation. Water vapor, methane, ozone, nitrous oxide, and carbon dioxide are all greenhouse gases. However, carbon dioxide is the most abundant of all greenhouse gases, which is one of the reasons it's brought up so frequently when addressing climate change problems. Over the last 150 years, human activity has increased the quantity of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere to levels not seen in hundreds of millions of years. The scale of this influence is enormous. Humans now have such a a wide effect that most geologists, ecologists, and natural historians believe we have reached an altogether new geological period known as Anthropocene. Ongoing scientific study has made it increasingly evident that it is in humanity's best interest as a species to change their fossil fuel burning ways. Next, formation of Ag Mission. Ag Mission was formed by the Foundation of Food and Agricultural Research, FFAR, U.S. Farmers and Ranchers in Action, U.S. FRA, and the World Farmers Organization, WFO, to harness agriculture's potential to cut GHD emissions. Ultimately, the goal of this project is to make agriculture net negative for GHG emissions. To achieve this lofty aim, Ag Mission brings together farmers, ranchers, and scientists to co-create science-based solutions that can be quickly deployed, boosting on-farm resiliency while minimizing the effects of climate change. Agricultural research and data are critical components of this project. While this study is increasing, the current effort requires greater coordination and teamwork. Data that is integrated and interpretable is essential for organizing this research and driving adaptation and adoption of climate smart technologies that minimize GHG emissions. Climate smart behaviors that arise will be both economically and environmentally sustainable, while also lowering emissions. The Foundation for Food and Agriculture Research, FFAR, forges public-private partnerships to support innovative research that addresses major food and agriculture concerns. The Farm Bill of 2014 established FFAR to expand public agriculture research funding, bridge knowledge gaps, and supplement USDA's research agenda. The FFAR model combines government money from Congress with private funding, resulting in a significant return on taxpayer investment. FFAR develops actionable knowledge that benefits farmers, consumers, and the environment via cooperation and partnerships. Next, WFO. The World Farmers Organization, WFO, is an international member-based organization whose members are national farmers organizations and agricultural cooperatives from around the world, representing and advocating on behalf of the global farm community with the goal of developing policies and actions that favor and support farmers' causes in developed and developing countries worldwide. Now we have USFO. FRA, United States Farmers and Ranchers in Action, USFRA, represents farmer and rancher-led groups as well as other food and agriculture industry leaders who share a vision of co-creating sustainable food systems and believe that strong action is required. It brings together farmers and ranchers with the brightest minds in food, agriculture, science, and technology to help the food and agriculture sectors reduce greenhouse gas emissions while also contributing to enhanced social and economic stability. USFRA serves as the Secretariat for the Decade of Ag, the first sector-wide effort to unite behind a clear vision and results for future food and agriculture systems. Next, a threat to food security. According to FFAR's Executive Director Sally Rocky, climate change threatens the environment, food security, and the livelihoods of farmers and ranchers. And they're thrilled that McDonald's recognizes the value of Ag Mission's approach and is collaborating 
collaborating with them on this unprecedented initiative. To achieve this goal, research and data are essential. According to AgMission, integrated interoperable data is crucial for organizing this research as well as expediting adaptation and adoption of climate smart solutions that cut GHG emissions. Rocky also stated that AgMission's large scale coordinated effort draws on previous studies to coordinate agriculture's climate change response, linking data from one region of the world that can assist another. Despite accounting for 9.9% of GHG emissions in the United States and around 24% globally, agriculture is the only sector with the inherent potential to be net negative for GHG emissions, according to Ag Mission. According to Aaron Fitzgerald, CEO of the USFRA, soil and farmlands currently store 100 times more carbon than is emitted in a year. Farmers and ranchers, on the other hand, cannot take advantage of this on their own. This endeavor necessitates a reaction that is on par with the scale of the issue that they are attempting to overcome. Science-based strategies are the way to go. McDonald's pledge highlights the proactive steps the company is taking to achieve net zero emissions throughout its worldwide operations by 2050. According to a release from Ag Mission, McDonald's joins PepsiCo as a founding partner of Ag Mission. According to Marion Gross, McDonald's senior vice president and chief supply chain officer, North America, in a release, they, McDonald's, are striving to feed more people in increasingly sustainable ways by creating a food system in which communities, animals, and the planet thrive. And it's been proven time and time again that real action comes from convening partners around consistent science-based strategies. Next, a stronger supply chain. Companies are naturally worried when they notice a decrease in the robustness of the food supply chain. Jason Roundtree is the CS Mott Professor of Sustainable Agriculture at Michigan State University, and he collaborates with everyone from farmers to large fast food companies like McDonald's. He claims that customers aren't the only ones making the choice to invest in climate initiatives in agriculture, as harsh weather has a direct influence on the agricultural goods they buy. Roundtree claims that the risks are genuine and that we would be foolish to continue to believe that this is normal. With that said, he believes we should more appropriately assess how would our farm appear by the year 2040 and what are the things we need to put in place to increase resilience so that we can pass on our farm to the next generation. He believes that minimizing carbon footprint should be one of our top concerns. However, he argues that this should not come from agricultural policy and come from companies that rely on agriculture. Now, let's talk about what Ag Mission has done so far. FFAR and USFRA have completed many pilot projects since the partnership's inception in February 2020. The FFAR and USFRA signed a Memorandum of Understanding, which committed $1.9 million to assist first efforts. In February 2020, FFAR sponsored a meeting of major agricultural climate stakeholders to discuss the requirements, challenges, and possibilities for mitigating climate change via agriculture. The partnership is financing a National Academy of Sciences review to determine what we know about the advantages and how to effectively execute particular activities required to generate negative GHG emissions. The study also develops a scientific roadmap to a carbon negative agriculture system, which will be used to execute the most promising carbon negative agriculture techniques. This partnership planned and sponsored a series of landscape evaluations to map current work in emission research and reduction projects, data networks and protocols, and existing farmer and rancher networks in progress. Lastly, the pressure for sustainability on McDonald's and other restaurants. For the last decade, McDonald's has pledged to solve the global warming issue behind its most popular menu item. In 2011, McDonald's aided in the formulation of the Global Roundtable for Sustainable Beef, an industry-backed organization focused at improving a range of cattle raising techniques. Following that, the firm vowed to source part of its beef from sustainable sources, and it has followed by a 2018 pledge to reduce the climate intensity of its food and packaging by 31% by 2030. It even went further in October, saying that it will eliminate its total carbon impact by 2050. When you eat one of our world-famous burgers, you're joining a movement towards a more sustainable future, declared McDonald's in one of its progress reports. Other restaurant brands have also declared a flurry of aggressive climate objectives. Restaurant Brands International, Burger King's parent business, said in September, 
September that it plans to reduce the carbon intensity of the food it serves by half by 2030. Yum Brands, the parent company of Taco Bell, KFC, and Pizza Hut, has stated that it will reduce the carbon intensity of its food and packaging by 46% by the end of the decade. Meanwhile, Wendy's is still assessing its total carbon impact in preparation for what it has stated would be comparable climate targets. The promises shine a light on the significant difficulty that fast food firms face when their brands are established around a menu item that's damaging to the environment. McDonald's does not reveal how much beef it sells, but corporate officials have stated in investor presentations that beef is the business's biggest menu category and rising, and that burgers are critical to increasing sales. McDonald's overall emissions have increased 7% since 2015, but the business claims to have lowered the emissions intensity of its food and packaging defined by the quantity of greenhouse gases per ton of product by nearly 6% during that time. The corporation refused to elaborate on how it made such gains, but working with ag mission seems like a step in the right direction. That's a wrap for this video. See you in the next one.